Hey, it's Friday somewhere. David Wolf here with the infamous, uh, well, now famous, Howie Milstein. He's the author of Don't Be an Effin' Dick, Leadership for Vibrant Communities. Imagine that. Um, Howie and I uh, recently completed the uh, recording of the audiobook. Howie, welcome. Hey, thank you. And Thrilled to be here. Uh, absolutely. And your project, I have to say it was a standout in terms of the experience I've had working with authors um, for all the reasons we've talked about offline. And we were just talking about it before we went live. And this idea that we take ourselves too seriously. So, But I have to roll back. What in your background, your uh, experience in your lives, le your life, <laughs> many lives, life led to the, uh, the, the, the idea that you would write this book? The, the, the epiphany. Yeah. Oh, well, it's it's decades of experiences. Um, and then maybe an occasional epiphany along the way. But you know what? We I think that we learn a lot from um good leaders, but we learn more from bad leaders because mm -hmm. the things they do to annoy us and irritate us and hurt us is are so profoundly felt that those are really things you remember. And um so I've just had a number of bosses that were egomaniacs. You know, I even had one that was, you know, psychopathic. And I didn't know that until I had to read a book about psychopathy and mm -hmm. sociopathy after mm -hmm. the experience that I had to understand wow. what I went through. Wow. wow. Uh, and then I just, you know, in reading other things, I thought, you know what? Really, we're just focusing on so much stuff about leadership and organizational development when, in fact, Maybe all that has to happen is that people just have to stop being a dick. Yeah. Let's start with that. Yeah. So that was the whole cornerstone. I thought, it's let's just start with that. Yeah, it's profound simplicity and also certainly a shock value uh, in terms of the cover and the name. And, you know, we've talked about that ourselves as well. Uh, this negative experience, by the way, what industry were you in? If you don't mind my asking, you don't have to get you know deep into it, but well, I, I spent curious. 26 years in the medical device device business. I grew okay. up to the sales ranks and then mm -hmm. you know ran teams and then ran companies. Wow. Now the Institute oh. to stop yourself, uh, uh, sorry, I'll say that again. The, uh, the Institute to top, stop taking yourself so seriously. Uh, right. what is that? And, and is, does this fold into the work you now do? Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. I kind of have a portfolio life, uh, but one of my businesses is this consulting, speaking, writing on this particular topic. Yeah, it's about leadership. It's about leading vibrant communities uh, that actually can go together towards one common vision and goal with good, wholesome leadership. Mm -hmm. um, and the charter is to you know, it's all built around trust. Yeah. And it's one thing to build trust. And I think we know how to do that, or at least uh, the book describes that in, in exhaustive detail, but not hopefully overly exhaustive. But mm -hmm. it's really about how to destroy trust. And let's just focus on that a little bit. Sure. And, uh, so that's so it's, you know, it's. um. Yeah, it's a it's a different orientation. It's it's, you know, understand how people perceive and feel the things that you do and say to them or don't do or don't say to them and how that can just totally destroy trust. We're visiting with Howie Milstein. He is the uh, author of this book, Don't Be an F and Dick, uh, available anywhere where uh, online books are sold and, uh, and elsewhere. Uh, and uh, it's from the Institute to Stop Taking Yourself So Seriously, something I think we're all pretty guilty of um, <laughs> in this world. It's and it's about communities and building communities. So there's the cover, so you can recognize it. Um, when you go into work with a group, a team, uh, leaders in an organization, where do you start? I mean, this this foundation of don't don't be something is fascinating. So, so where do, do I you just start? go there and say that, and then no. <laughs> send my invoice and call it a day? No, that would be very efficient as a business model, would it? Would it not? But uh, I mean, how does the process look? And I'm sure it varies from case to case. But if so, you if give I'm us doing an if I'm doing a workshop or a series of workshops for a small group of leaders. Mm -hmm. um, I usually start with how to build trust. Okay. You know, and so it's all about um, generally, uh, uh, you know, emotional intelligence, right? Yep. It's getting in touch with 
you know, how people perceive and how they feel. It's too provocative to start with, don't be the raging egomaniac. Right. Right. It's, it's so I have to make it safe for people. But as you can imagine, I also make it fun. You know, we laugh our way through this thing. Yeah. Um, so I like to have at least a couple of workshops. And the second one is focused on this, you know, how does it, what does it look like to others when you're being a dick, whether you realize it or even intend to be or not. I mean, most mm -hmm. often it's unintentional. So here's the things that we do that we don't intend to do, but it doesn't matter whether it's intentional or not. If you do something, say something, snub somebody, don't listen to them, right? right. Yeah. Or, you know, insist on being the funniest person in the room, you're being a dick, yeah. you know? And, and, and yeah. if you need people to follow you, they're not inclined to. So, and then I like to do coaching sessions. So I, I'll do executive coaching, but um, one of the packages that I have is I do these workshops and then I follow up with individual coaching sessions with each person. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so and usually there's two sessions. One is how do you, how do we work on the building up of trust? Right. And then, and then what can you work on? And then the second one is, okay, now we know what it's like to show up as the, as the self-interested egomaniac. Now, what are we going to focus on? Okay. So it starts with awareness, this trust building that you talk about. What what is it in humans that causes us to be a dick? I mean, what is there a fundamental need that we're expressing or an unexpressed need elsewhere? So we take it to work and we behave in a certain way, or, or maybe this is just wildly uh, 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 a customized idea, right? Each client yeah. you work with is a very, what's driving this behavior is a different thing. Right. So if you will, toss it to you. David, did you say we had 10 minutes or 10 hours? Uh, yeah, right. Exactly. So yeah, we, so, we've got a couple minutes left here. So yeah, I know. So, so there's a couple of things. So um, <laughs> there's two things I think at play. Okay. One is the basic human condition of fear, you know, yeah. and, and what happens when our own emotions are triggered by something that's challenging or uncertain or whatever. And we take a stance that just overcompensates for fear. Mm -hmm. So one of the exercises is how to understand what that fear is, where it comes from, mm -hmm. and then consciously try to act differently. And that's what we call courage. That's cool. The other thing is paradigms. For some reason, people have gotten the message that leaders need to be powerful and authoritative and autocratic. And that's what a leader is. When in fact, that kind of a leader, you might get some people to sort of think it's kind of cool, but it's really divisive. So ah. it's paradigm, it's just conventional thinking, mm -hmm. and it's the new condition of just running everything through our limbic system and processing it through the emotional centers of our brain and then just managing fear. We're just mm. fearless creatures. I got to ask you, you know, we worked on your audiobook together. What was the what was it like to read your own audiobook? What was that experience like? I'm guessing this is the first time you've done something like this. I think I've got that right. Oh, absolutely. Well, I loved it. I mean, it's fun working with you. So, well, you know, I got have fun no matter what I do, and it was just another chance one more time to read my effing book. Um, <laughs> yes. And and as I'm writing it, I'm hearing my own voice. But after I heard my voice being recorded, now when I read mm. the book, I'm hearing my voice from what it really sounds like to other people. <laughs> as opposed so, to in your head. And, yeah, it's the actual exactly. acoustic experience of your voice. Right. Right. Um, it was it was cool. I mean, I don't know. It was yeah, something yeah, yeah. I, uh, I like doing things I've never done before. And this was a box to check. And guess what? I, I hope I can write another book just to have that same experience. Well, again. you do have a natural ten, uh, ability to perform. Uh, you know, you have the 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 sh as the book is full of shtick, and you've got it. You know, it comes across. There's a humorous, not taking yourself so seriously tone in the smile of your voice as we were recording. I, I remember that, and it really it colors the content. Did it change your relationship to your writing at all? I got about thirty seconds. I don't think so. I think right. I'm still the same guy, just with now a new skill of reading his own book. That's beautiful. All. Howie you know? Nothing. Yeah. No, this yeah. is great. So glad you could do this this morning. We keep these under 10 minutes so we can go to LinkedIn with them. Don't be an effing dick. Leadership for vibrant communities available where all fine books are sold. Howie Milstein, the author. Howie, thanks for joining us on the program. Oh, thank you so much, David. Hope to collaborate.